The Very Last Leaf, a story by Steph Wade. From his first day of school in the spring, Lance Cottonwood was the best and brightest student. He blossomed and budding. Look at me, I'm a leaf. You better believe it. <laughs> he breezed through the wind resistance. Some others were not so lucky. Better luck next time. I just have a strong stem. He was a breath of fresh air in photosynthesis 101. Don't just love the taste of sunlight in the morning. Best breakfast ever. He passed pigment changing with flying colors. Yellow, everybody. How do you do? Yellow is the new green. During his last class of the autumn semester, Lance began to worry about his final exam. Don't forget to study. The test would take him from the top of his sturdy tree to the grass down below. I know you'll all pass with flying colors. The other leaves couldn't wait to take the leap. But Lance Cottonwood didn't feel that way because Lance Cottonwood was afraid to fall. Lance was jealous of his neighbor, Doug Fur. Doug was an evergreen and evergreens didn't have to fall. Doug got to sit on his branch and feel the cold, wet snow on his face all winter long. I love the feeling of fresh snow on my leaves. But Lance was a cottonwood, and cottonwood trees are deciduous. They lose their leaves in autumn. So Lance expected to fall like all the Lance leaf cottonwood ancestors who came before him. When autumn arrived, one by one, the other students let go and floated to the ground below. But Lance was comfortable at the top, and that was where he would stay. No one expected him to be scared, so Lance made up excuse after excuse. Saving the best for last. The last leaf gets, uh, something, right? Ladies first. And I'm a gentleman. <coughs> I have a bit of a cough today. <laughs> Go without me. I'll meet you there. But Lance couldn't trick them for long. As leaf after leaf passed the final test, they started to talk. He's a scary leaf. I guess he's not good at everything. <laughs> not so perfect now, are ya? He's too yellow to be an evergreen. He won't last a day in the snow. Cool days turned into colder nights. And Lance decided he was going to beat the odds. He would stay on his tree all winter. Just like Doug. You'll grow to love the cold. It looks like we're going to be best friends. Forever and evergreen. By the end of the week, Lance was the only one left on the tree. Lance's teacher knew he was worried, but she also knew he would be okay. It's okay to be scared, Lance. Everyone gets cold stems. I'm here to help you through this. Lance thought about why he was so scared. He was terrified of landing in a gutter or getting stuck on a windshield. <laughs> or, worst of all, falling where the dog did his best business. Ew! This is definitely the worst! 
After talking about his worries, Lance felt a little better. And when he looked down again, things didn't look so bad. Some kids had made a pile of leaves to jump into. Other kids were collecting leaves for crafts. Lance's friends were happy. They were safe. And they looked like they were having fun. Lance knew it was time to take the leap. It's now or never. Lance's teacher assured him he could do it. He was one of the hardest working students in class. The other students cheered him on from down below. Go, Lance! You got this! We believe in you! They were right. He could do it. He worked hard. He studied hard. He knew his stuff. Lance loved Doug, but Lance wasn't an evergreen and never would be. You got this, buddy! Lance looked below. He took a deep breath. And with his stem quivering, he let go. Practicing what he studied, Lance focused and floated gently to the pile below. Lance Cottonwood may have been the last one to finish his test. But he did not fail. He was once again on top. <laughs> I did it. What a really. <laughs> you did it, Lance. That was unbelievable. The gang's all here. Yay! Hi, friends. Hope you enjoyed the story. Don't forget, hit like and subscribe.